Update There was a lot of bitterness and disagreement at the debate stage. But what united most of the candidates was their anger towards Vivek Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy, 38, seemed aware that he could be seen as know-it-all. But his response to a question on TikTok led to particularly brutal exchange with former UN. Ambassador Nikki Haley. After moderator Stuart Varney asked Ramaswamy how she looked with TikTok star Jake Paul. Ramaswamy, who boasted about his ability to reach young people, later suggested that children under the age of 16 should not use social media. This apparently triggered Haley, who said it's so frustrating because TikTok is one of the most dangerous social media apps we can have. Ramaswamy tried to interrupt Haley before she stopped him and said every time I hear you, I feel a little stupider because of what you say. Ramaswamy responded by saying the debate would be better served if the candidates don't sit here and hurl personal insults. Strangely, TikTok ads are being aired during debate as the social media platform tries to counter calls for it to be banned in U.S. Previous although moderators try to focus on issues such as health and borders. Candidates are determined to attack their opponents. Moderator Dana Perino asked former Vice President Mike Pence if Obamacare was here to stay. But his response leveled a clear attack on Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for presiding over the state while the Parkland Masseur was sentenced to life in prison. Death penalty. Perino then asked his question again. And Pence responded by attacking Donald Trump. Saying former president wanted to gain more power and expand the size of federal government. Pence said he wants to scale it back. Pence was also excited about Vivek Ramaswamy turning the focus to China. I'm glad Vivek pulled out of the business deal in China. This should be when you decide to start voting in presidential elections. Ramaswamy got into a lengthy argument with Sen. Tim Scott on China that lasted more than a minute. And their words became almost unintelligible as they spoke to each other. Thank you for speaking up while I was interrupting. Interrupting. Ramaswamy said at one point. Later in debate. When it looked like the disruptions would continue. Varney told candidates you'll waste time if you talk about everyone. Before the second Republican presidential debate opened with the candidates attacking Joe Biden and Bidenomics. But perhaps the most notable moment was a seemingly greater willingness by Ron DeSantis to attack Donald Trump. After criticizing Biden for not taking larger role trying to avert a possible government shutdown. DeSantis said in clearly rehearsed sentence you know who else is missing action. Donald Trump is missing in action. He should be on this stage tonight. Chris Christie, who tied much of his campaign to his criticism of Trump, also harshly criticized the former president for not showing up. At one point, Christie looked into